Hello everyone, and I thought, what is a better way to start a video than to remove all the Halloween decorations that are around your big Bloxburg mansion that cost $2.1 million? I mean, it won't cost $2.1 million after all the Halloween decorations are removed, but I have a lot, and they span across the entire house, um, varying from spider webs, spiders, um, you know, tombstones, um, there's gonna be some that I obviously miss, like, you know, some coffins and stuff that are in the front of the house and so i have to do a lot of those and remove those later but some of these are you know blocksburg items that aren't you know they haven't been removed to the, from the game um and there's some things i use the structural items which i really not structural items that i use um advanced placing for um and i really wish it'll be um if you place them advancedly um, instead of placing each one individually, you just go from one point to another point that it would still go to your, um, your inventory, but no, it doesn't. And I wish it did. Um, but yeah, so I have a lot of, and I'm keeping up some of the fall decorations because even though that I am in the Christmas mode, I do want to keep, um, some of the fall looking stuff. And I wish that they kept like, you know, the fall leaf garlands in a little bit longer because I definitely would have stocked up on those so that next year I would be able to um put those down on my house as well so well early in the year before Halloween even starts because I, I I did that with Halloween this year before Halloween started I started decorating I'm probably going to do that with Christmas as well when it starts you know getting more Christmassy time it, I mean it's already Christmas time but when it gets to like more like you know the Christmas Christmas time that I will start doing that but yeah, there's just, there's just a lot of decorations that we have to remove, and it's just, you know, it's kind of fun. But, um, as you see everything go into my inventory, you can kind of see, um, I kind of did go crazy, and if it's just on the crazy with the Halloween decorations, um, I didn't decorate as much as I would have wanted to for Halloween as I would for Christmas. Like, oh my god, I would decorate my house for Christmas, and I'd go all out on Christmas decorations um like my entire plot becomes like this winter wonderland and I'm and I don't know how I'm going to decorate it this year I think every year I kind of want to go for like a different thing usually I have like some of the same things like I'm still renovating this house so a lot of this is going to change by um Christmas time like you know the driveway area I've done that before there's a lot of changes that I've made um to the original house that I did for renovating um so I have a playlist full of my Bloxburg Mansion renovations definitely go ahead and check those out there will be this button that will pop up on the side of the screen that you can press and you can go ahead and check out those videos and you can check out some of the rooms that have stayed the same some of the rooms that have, might have changed um because you know as as Bloxburg updated more, I've gotten, you know, a little bit better in changing up some designs and stuff like that. And it, it really, it really is a hard job, like, you know, trying to figure out what it is. But um, where the TV used to be in the living room, you just saw that um, where the TV used to be in the living room, there's no windows. Um, and there's like, you know, that paneling, the wood paneling that they just colored to be white. That's where I'm going to put my Christmas tree this year. Because I usually have these fun ways of my Christmas tree. But that really fits for Christmas tree right there for the fall, for the tall Christmas tree. So yeah, I, I like that. But you know, my kitchen has changed. That um, room has changed the whatever. The nursery, this one is my room. It's changed a lot. So definitely go check out the first my room transformation and come look back at that to see how different it is i mean if you wanted to if you want me to do a full house tour i could do that but yeah in today's video i know this is kind of like a long introduction to what the video is but in this video we're going to split this room in half and we're just going to decorate it as a um, one kid room and one toddler room since we got new toddler stuff and you can definitely see that i was just you know, still getting the bed and decided to keep it so it just cut the room in half but, but just add in some stuff so removing a lot of the wall trimming is something that i gotta do because you can definitely see i kind of went for a little bit of a you know tropical style for the kids room a little bit just for like the the, the normal kids room but yeah but there goes the wall 
Um, what is going to be split up is one room is the toddler room and the other room is the kid room. So the toddler room, I'm going to do it as it's um, a space themed room. And the kids room is just going to stay the same as it is, just, just um, smaller. Because it used to be super big. So now the, the hard part is adding in the door, figuring out what you want. So that's always a challenge, right? Now, coming up with the decorations is what is the hardest. Now, accent wall right there. Want to have that accent wall. So, yeah, this is it's no longer going to be a tropical room. Some parts of it's going to stay tropical, like that one wall right there. But you can see that those different walls have added in different depths. Um, they're they're not all the same wall, so obviously it just it, it gives the room much more of a room feeling. You don't want to have each wall be the same. So, yeah. Now, what the hardest part was is coming up with what color I was going to do these walls, because obviously. With a space themed room, that's always difficult. But you know, anyways, let's get to some actual decorating of this bedroom that we call a toddler room now. So, in the Bloxburg Toddler Stuff Update, which I dubbed this update the Toddler Stuff Update, um, it's not really called the Toddler Stuff Update. A lot of people have been calling it the Family Update or the, the Kids Update, but I call it Toddler Stuff because there's been a lot of toddler stuff in this update rather than, like, you know, um, family and kids stuff. But it is, like, you know, family stuff because toddlers are family, but I call it Toddler Stuff Update. But, you know, that rug with the little toy bin. It just fits in a toddler room, and then that space themed bed, the castle themed bed, like it all fits in toddler. That um, shopping cart toddler, like you know that car, um, that 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 car map map thing, like the rug that everyone had as a child, um, growing up back in the two thousands, um, you know, toddler thing, like toddler like you stop playing with it like you still play with it when you become like you know like a a kid like you're like six seven eight nine ten you know you stop playing it when like you're 11 and stuff so like you know it's like a toddler a toddler toy with the car mat you just um put your cars around so obviously this update is a toddler update you know the play-doh toddler kids like you know i think younger toddlers would put that in their mouth and eat it but you know I uh, see that as toddler. Obviously, um, that light is way too bright, and obviously the color wheel is what's made this amazing. Cause you know, instead of just using direct linen, you can just change the color to be a little bit of a darker linen. And I think darker linen makes the house feel more cozy and warm. So I might have to go through my entire house and and change all the lighting to, you know, darker linen. But obviously. The one of the one of the hardest things is putting up these wall these ceiling decals because it's just going everywhere, um, everywhere but where you want it to. Um, it's supposed to be on the ceiling and right here with the ceiling fan in the other room, it's just like it, it's just difficult. Like it's just going to the other room, and going back. Like no, that's not what I want it to do. I want it to be where I want it to be. Like come on, and you know, oh finally I I got it. I got it. Um, but you know, the changing the roof on the ceiling color is not going to fit unless I go up there and delete all the floors and replace them. And that's going to be a nightmare to fit each room. That is going to be a nightmare. Um, so I'm not going to do that now. Um, I don't know why that wall is like that. Oh, never mind. Okay. So going for a little bit of a black design for this room is something that um, fits the space theme because you're in space and you got like those stars um, so the planetary um, the planet objects um, having it the same style of the bed is something it just gonna go into the space room so obviously this toddler room doesn't need to be decorated too much because it's just a toddler room and not everyone's gonna spend time in there <clears throat> oh my god I'm kind of like my voice um, 
but you know not everyone's gonna spend time in there so it doesn't really matter but you know still have i still want it to be like you know decorative so adding some of those hanging stars that are like you know part of like the party objects and having some of those bigger stars around um i really, really love some you know starry night um wall decals or j j j they're just constellations and stuff. I believe I could find those in Roblox images, but I'm not going to go with the added pressure of finding all that. But that's pretty much what the toddler room is. And now I'm getting all the decorations back that are deleted from the kid room it is something that I need to do now. Um, but obviously, I feel like there's something that I'm missing in the toddler room in I just can't figure it out and you know with all the new blocks work categories and the decorations tab I can't really find exactly where I want to find all those items so I'm definitely gonna have to um, check those out a little bit more just so that it's easier oh my god I'm like yawning. okay anyways it's like 8 53 in the morning and i'm trying to do like a commentary video if you haven't noticed that already is that i'm doing a comic video then you know yeah so this is so you know adding those aliens around figure out where to go and like you know that one um, I believe it was a monster plush I put down yeah monster plush I put that on the bed it feels more so like you know this is a toddler room oh the robot as well adding a lot of toys around that this is that now this is starting to look like you know a toddler room like you know um, if you look at the video the toddler um, slash kid room you can definitely see, or I think I dubbed it as toddler room. You, you can definitely see how much this is, it has changed because obviously, as you know, Bloxburg updates more, I find like, oh, this definitely fits in this room, or this definitely fits in this room, so now I have to go ahead and redecorate it. But obviously, I'm still renovating this house. Um, I'm not doing it as a series because then it would just be repetitive of all the rooms that I've been, you know, redoing, like the living room, the kitchen, my bedroom. Um, and now this room just cutting it in half um there are some rooms that i would decorate that i probably do um a video on i have one video where i did the the study room i'm probably gonna do more rooms like the study room in the the series kind of thing where i decorate different rooms like there's obviously some rooms that i still have to decorate um there's a, at least two rooms in the basement like an extra bedroom and this weird room that has like those two doors a little bit of like the, the connecting piece and stuff like that so obviously that's um something i probably will do um but there, there's more videos like you know the um there's one of them where i'm doing like this speed build video i am working on part i believe it's part three now i'm working on part three um i just been in the planning stage for that because like you know it, this isn't easy decorating a house this isn't really easy because you have to make everything fit and stuff like that so it's not easy um but yeah i will have that out soon so if you guys want to see the third part of that so definitely go watch the first two parts of the speed build i believe i did one of them as the exterior and then another one was just focused right on just just one area of the the speed build so definitely go check that out um, anyways, it is it is coming to the end of this video. Um, I thought that today we just get on here, do a little bit of a commentary video for you guys today. Just, like, you know, just talking about some things. Because I really don't have more content I want to do today. But that's pretty much all I have. So, as you watch me go around and check out the, the house and just play test it around. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much what I have for today. Um, tomorrow's video is going to be a little bit different as well. I'm exploring content. That's what I'm doing is I'm exploring content, with what I'm going to do with Bloxburg content. Um, a, a lot of it has focused on my mansion before, and I don't want to focus on my mansion now. So, moving away from that. Anyways, that's all I have to give for today. And I'll see whatever I have to give.